Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how I created these sweater nails using regular polish. It is possible. And I am featuring this polish here. This is Sights on Night Lights. This is one of my winter picks for this season. It's a gorgeous polish from the new Essie Winter Collection. I'm also using Ladylike, this nice soft pink, and Marshmallow, this more sheer kind of off-white color. I'm also using Glisten and Glow Top Coat and Matte Top Coat. I've learned a few things about Matte Top Coat. You'll see in this video that there are a few bubbles in it um, in one of my nails, so make sure that you're rolling that up and not shaking the bottle because those um, those bubbles will turn into little white spots on your nail. Okay, so here are the polishes that I have on my nails on my pointer and my middle finger. I have that Sights on Night Lights and I've used the matte top coat on that middle one. And then I've just done a thin light coat of Ladylike and then um, two coats of Marshmallow and then a matte top coat on top of that. Now with a lady like the one you're going to do your design on, you want to make sure it is a thin layer because if it's too thick, your other polish is just going to, that you're trying to layer on top, is just going to soak in deep. And I did put a thin layer of top coat on that as well just to protect it. Well, to make it last longer. So I'm going to come in with my Winstonia wine, berry wine brush and I'm going to do this pattern. It's a crisscross pattern. I'm going to start on one side and go towards the other as I'm moving up towards the tip of the nail. So I'm going to do a little kind of X or V here and then I'm going to cross and come around and I'm going to show you this in real time. And what you're doing is you're dragging and gliding the polish on. You're not pressing and painting. Um, you're just dragging and guiding it to where you want it to go and that'll make it a little bit thicker on the nail And that's what you want. You want to build it up and it will shrink down a little bit this first layer But that's okay. You're going to build it up again, and I just want to show you this in real time So if you get it wrong, that's okay You can start over this did take me a few tries because I didn't have it exactly the way I want it If you go a little bit too far to one side than the other that's okay You can come back on the next layer and shape it the way that you want it so it's kind of nice it's a little forgiving you can um, make it go as far as you need to on one side or the other and then when I'm finished with this part I'm gonna do lines on the side that's just the sweater pattern that I like there's lots of sweater patterns online that you can check so I'm happy with those crisscrosses now I'm gonna move move to the lines here and you're again you're just gonna glide that polish on and do a few coats and then you're gonna let let it dry once you're done um, I'm also going to come in on the side and do some polka dots. Um, so you can see that I'm cleaning my brush off after it gets a little thick. Then I'm cleaning it off before I get new polish on my brush. But it's okay. You want it to get a little bit thick because that way it builds up a little bit. So it's okay if it dries out just a little bit. Just go very lightly with your brush. You don't want to push down too hard. And then when I'm finished with the polka dots, I am going to let it dry for a good amount of time, at least like five minutes or so. And then I'm going to come back in, as you'll see me doing here. And you can see it did sink down a little bit into that layer, and that's okay. Um, that's why I was saying if you do your polish layer too thick underneath, that it will completely soak in. I made that mistake the first time, so I learned a few things. And I sped this up a little bit. Um, just so you could see the whole process and how often I'm going back to get paint on my brush. So you're gonna carefully go over each one of those parts again, and then I'm gonna let that dry again for another five minutes. And just so you know, I'll have links to all the products I'm using down below, so it's nice and quick and easy. You guys can check those out. Um, I get these brushes on Amazon, and they're super cheap, and they're all <laughs> the brushes I use all the time. I don't use any other brushes, really. Okay, and now that that's dry, I'm actually going to come in with my nice thick top coat. I like Glisten and Glow. Um, just use one of yours that's a little thicker, and you're going to come in and carefully go over the top. And this is really what is going to build it up to the top here. I did, as you'll notice when I'm done filming this or when I'm done painting this on, that I just left that top sheer layer on the top coat and I decided that I actually didn't like the way that looked in the pictures and design because it did look clear. And so I did go back and do another layer of just the polish on there so you could actually see the color pretty well and I thought it had a little better look. 
I did not film that, but I would totally suggest that you do that if you do this design. And then you can go over it very thinly with a top coat when you're all finished. You want to use a top coat though that's a little bit thinner because you don't want that to, to get pressed down. But it does build up very, very nicely. I love this design. I've wanted to do it. Chromanel showed me last year that it's possible to do this design with regular polish, which I didn't think it was. I really enjoyed wearing this design. That's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and let me know if you're going to try out this design. And I hope you guys have a good day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.